do you want to learn how to solve this problem by adding suitable straight lines? Then you are in the right video. Hello everyone, welcome to Mathusiasm. In a circle, ABCD is a trapezium inscribed in it. AB is parallel to CD, AB is equal to 2, DC is equal to 14, BC is equal to AD, which are 10. Find the area of the circle. First of all, we construct the heights from two points A and B to the lower side DC. We call them AE and BF. Therefore, we have a blue rectangle ABFE. Because EF and AB are opposite sides of the rectangle, so their lengths are equal to 2. How about the length of the red side DE? Because ABCD is an isosceles trapezium, Therefore, DE is equal to FC, which is 6. Now, let's focus on the red triangle ADE. We can use the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of the height AE. AE squared plus 6 squared is equal to 10 squared. So, AE is equal to 8. We have all the information about the trapezium. How do we use them to figure out depth of the circle? Let's O be the center of the circle. M and N are the midpoints of the upper side AB and the lower side DC respectively. Therefore, MON is a straight line. That means MN is perpendicular to both AB and DC. The two vertical sides MN and AE are both equal to 8. Moreover, the upper green side AM is equal to 1 and the lower purple side DN is equal to 7. What else can we do? Let's construct the two radii OA and OD. Let the length be R. We also let OM be K, so ON is equal to X minus K. Now, to solve for the two unknowns R and K, we need to set up two equations. It's not hard because we have two right-angled triangles. In the green triangle OAM, K squared plus 1 square is equal to R square. We call this equation 1. In the purple triangle ODN, 8 mass k whole square plus 7 square is equal to r square. We call this equation 2. We can eliminate r by putting equation 1 into equation 2 like this. Expand the perfect square term on the right hand side, which is equal to 64 minus 16k plus k square. Cancel out the k square terms on both sides and simplify it, we get a simple linear equation. Solving it, we have k is equal to 7. Let's put this back into equation 1 to find the value of r. So r squared is equal to 50. Therefore, the area of circle is equal to 50 pi. Are you looking for more interesting geometry problem? Go check out this video on the screen. I will see you there.